Hi everyone, I'm Maggie from The Little Reseller. I buy things from online and from charity shops and sell them on Amazon and eBay, hopefully for a profit, that's the idea. Today's video is a what sold video. I've got over 50 items to show you, of things that have sold over the last month or two that you've seen me buy from the charity shops and online. If you haven't watched any of my haul videos yet, then click above and you can watch one of them and then come back to this video and see the sold prices for some things I've picked for you. I've had lots of people asking for a what sold video, so that's why we're here. I'll be giving you the sold price, but obviously this doesn't include the fees from Amazon or eBay. It's just what the item sold for, so take that into account. If you'd like to find out some of the things I use to be able to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon, then if you click on the title below, there's some links to some of the things I use there. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. But yeah, please like and subscribe to my channel. That would be great. Let's get started. So the first thing is a Strictly Come Dancing board game. This was new, cost £5 and sold for £16.38. Uh, a building a mini manual, you know I love a Haynes manual, um, so this was new and it was actually free because I used some points I had for the shop uh, to buy it, so it was free and it sold for £10.04. Uh, inky hair treatment, this cost £2, this is new, uh, this is in a pharmacy's clearance section and sold for £7.50. Uh, chicken and charcoal book cost six pounds. This was new and sold for twenty one pound seventy five. Playmobil. These are all new. All the Playmobil things uh, cost nine pounds fifty. This was a florist's one and sold for twenty three pounds ninety. Uh, Jelly cat bunnies. They were six pound fifty each new and sold for seventeen pounds ninety. Uh, this was a used board game from a charity shop, this was a C-Knit Glee version. Cost £1.50 and as you can see sold for £14.99. Another Playmobil, this was a Vets Clinic, cost £10.16 and sold for £32.99. Uh, Playmobil Castle, this cost £12 and sold for £28.55. A new board game, this was from a charity shop, uh, Game for Fame, cost £5 and sold for £19.79. A Six Suits card game, these were 75p each and sold for £7.50. This was a used book on dinosaur art, cost £2.50 and sold for £14.98. Uh, this is another used book, the Complete Rib Manual, cost £2, this is a bit of a bolo, and uh, sold for £29.99. A new Playmobil wedding set cost £12.50, sold for £26.50. A uh, Chill Max fan, and this was from a um, clearance section in a supermarket. Bought a few of these, they cost £5 each and sold for £16.90. This is a Sort It Out board game, cost £5, new, sold for £17.99. Uh, this is a used Helen Oxenbury book. Uh, it was actually new, but I described it as used because it had a couple of bashes on it. Um, but cost three pounds, sold for fourteen pounds fifty. Playmobil Ghostbusters set cost ten pound twenty three, sold for seventeen ninety. I think um, the price had tanked by the time I sent them in, so I had to lower from what I was originally hoping for for them. Uh, this was a used Lego set, uh, Minor Taurus cost £5 in a charity shop. I had to buy um, a part, one piece for it, which I think was £2, so really it cost 7 I suppose. And it sold for £34.99, so even like some used Lego sets, complete, can do really well on Amazon. Uh, a used Trivial Pursuit Bet You Know It board game, this cost £5 and sold for £18.50. Used Star Wars books, uh, you'll see I bought these the other day in a charity shop. Uh, for £10, I bought 29 of them, there was a full set of 18 plus 2 special editions and that just that set so has sold on eBay for 99 99 plus postage so I've still got the other ones uh, to send to sell at the moment. Um, fake Bake Fake Tans, these were £10 each new and sold for £32.50. Another used Lego set, Hogwarts. Uh, was £5, it was complete, and that sold for £44.99. Uh, a used Cambridge Illustrated Book of China uh, was £2.50 and sold for £39.99. 
Another used book, Edinburgh Revisited, cost £3.50 and sold for £19.99. Uh, used Scrabble board game, Scrabble Trickster, this cost £4 and sold for £24.90. A used sports psychology book, cost £1.70 and sold for £11.99. So you'll remember one of the haul videos, the Hive light bulbs I bought, they were £5.70 each new obviously, and they sold for £17.43 each. Sukin facial mask, cost £3, this was from my local garden centre having a bit of a clear out. Uh, these were £3 each, sold for £11.90 each. Uh, this was from a charity shop, but it was brand new, still in cellophane. Uh, the Da Vinci Code game cost £3. This is definite bolo, sold for £39.99. I wouldn't mind finding a few more of them. Uh, and well, we're in February and sold um, a double sided Christmas jigsaw. So it just shows you can sell Christmas stuff anytime, really. Uh, cost £6.50, it was brand new, double sided, and it sold for £28.68. This was a massive fail on my part. Um, it was a door and window alarm kit, cost £8, brand new, and I use a repricer and I set the minimum too low. Uh, I missed out a digit completely, uh, and so it sold for £2.80. I think it should have been £29.80, I think I should have set the minimum at, something like that, but I missed out the nine. So it sold for £2.80, but nothing I can do about it. It's my own fault. Uh, just one of those things, really. Um, next is a new BBC Animals board game. Cost £5. That sold for £23.84. Uh, used Brain Box Horrible History. Some of these Brain Box games um, go really well on Amazon. This one was actually free. My mum bought some other things from a charity shop and the lady gave her this free. Uh, and it sold for £14.99. Um, bathe book, they were £1 each and they sold for £11.99 each. Paw Patrol, Flip and Fly, uh, this was new, £16 and sold for £39.11. Uh, Remington Beer Trimmers, £5 cost, uh, sold for £16.80. Balderdash board game, this was used in a charity shop but fully complete, cost £2.50 and that sold for £34.99. A new Disney Song Challenge board game that cost five pounds and sold for twenty four pounds eighty two. More Playmobil, Playmobil Surf Shop cost nine pounds forty nine and that sold for twenty nine ninety nine. Power Players Toy uh, that was new cost five pounds sold for fifteen pounds forty six. What's Your Number game that was new five pounds and sold for twenty two pounds fifty. Uh, build your own drone book. This was new, cost three pounds, very niche, uh, but sold for cost three, sold for twenty four ninety nine. On vegetables book. This was new, uh, cost seven pounds, and that sold for twenty one pounds twenty six. Playmobil. This was a random one, a handyman with a bike and plunger. Um, cost one ninety nine, and that sold for fourteen ninety nine. And uh, one of these. Gujitsu, is that how you say it? Cost £9.75, that sold for £21.90. Playmobil Singer on a Stage, this was £4 and sold for £14.99. Uh, La Toy Van Cake Stand Set, these were £12.50 and they sold for £28.67. Three left. Uh, Healing PCOS uh, Book, cost £2.49, sold for £12.99. Uh, the complete, this is a bolo, the complete Asian cookbook cost £1, it was used from a charity shop, it sold for £33.88. And the last one is a Playmobil dog trainer, uh, cost £6.50, this was new, and it sold for £22.99. So yeah, all of these things, I'll send them into Amazon and then I'll set them on my repricer, the minimum and the maximum that I want for them, depending on what I've paid and it works out the costs and everything, so I set my minimum, I think don't go below that, and it will move it about for me, uh, depending on other sellers' prices and things, so if they, someone comes on really low, mine doesn't go that low, then it will just stick to my price, but then if there's no other seller below me, it might try and raise the price, get me some more money, 
So that's what the repricer does and it just does it all for you. Just set the initial prices, your minimum and maximum. If you want to know any of the items I use, again, to buy and sell on, on Amazon and eBay, then just click the title below and some links will come up. If you could like and subscribe to my channel, that would be great. I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, I'll see you soon.